You are a welcome sight as always. Is this visiting regards to the fourth water Davian creature? We are all eagerly awaiting its recovery. As soon as we have the fourth component, we can begin the ritual to create the cure. Truly, the heart of a hero beats within your chest. Of all who have sought the creatures, you have proven yourself above everyone else. I heard of the trouble in the beggar's nest. This malevolent thing was behind it, as if the plague was not enough. Your charity and selflessness are an example to us all. I only wish more were as noble as you. You have earned a place of honor among those who sought to aid Neverwinter in these dark times. You will stand with us as the ritual to create the cure is performed. Are you ready to go to the ritual chamber? We must leave as soon as possible. You have earned the right to stand with those who sought to aid Neverwinter in this dark time. I will spare a few minutes for you to get ready. But you must hurry. Neverwinter has suffered long enough. Return and speak to me when you are ready to go on. We have all four reagents now. Quickly, time grows short. You have earned a place of honor among those who sought to aid Neverwinter in these dark times. You will stand with us as the ritual to create the cure is performed. Are you ready to go to the ritual chamber? We must leave as soon as possible. Then we shall waste no more time. Neverwinter has suffered long enough. Hail! You have provided a great service to all of Neverwinter in these trying times. As a token of Lord Nasher's gratitude, he thought you might want to bear witness to the cure's creation after all your hard work. Before the ritual proceeds, however, the four assembled would each like the chance to speak with you and offer their personal thanks for what you have achieved. Go on, speak with them. I must inform the town crier of the good news. Greetings to you. Preparations are well underway for the ritual. If all goes well, we will have the cure in just a few moments. I must say, I knew you would be instrumental in this cause. You've always presented the confident look of a person called to action. You needn't worry about anything. Your efforts got us this far, and now the ritual will take care of the rest. Following that, I will see to your reward. For now, you can leave what must be done to us. You've earned the right to bear witness, however, and I'm sure the others would say the same. I'm certain they can speak for themselves, but I will answer any questions you have. You should really ask him that. He despises being thought of as weak and would much prefer to be involved in any talk of his health. This time has been difficult, and our difference of opinion made it more so. Fenthic and I have had little to speak of besides the plague. I understand why he vests so much hope in Desta, but I could not. I know the power of faith, but you need to back it up with action. I am a paladin of the Just God tier. My sword is edged with belief, but it is my arm that must still swing it. I simply feared that if we waited for faith alone to save us, we would have more martyrs than survivors. I would ask whether your opinion of him has suffered. It was your efforts that brought us this far. His claims of action seem based on your results. While you searched, his Helmites blessed. While you fought, his Helmites blessed. The comfort he brought will pale next to the actual cure you have provided. Of course, he is needed for the final ritual, so I cannot dismiss him entirely. Fenthic also serves as his advocate, so he must be deserving of some respect. As you will, what do you want me to say? Well, once we have the cure in hand, we will determine the best way to get it to the most people as soon as possible. 
It will take time, so we'll treat the most severe cases of plague first, regardless of station. I just hope... well, we'll worry about other things later. We are very near our goal, but I can't help but worry about the effects of the plague. There is a great scar across Neverwinter. Already I see the distrust. The mood of the city has changed. When all is done, the people will want someone to blame, and I don't know if we will find anyone. <clears throat> I shouldn't ramble on like this when we are so close to a cure. This is a happy day, and we got here because of you. I will try to explain. Is there anything specific you wish to know? Well, we have prepared a small container. The mixture itself will be fairly unspectacular to look at, despite the importance of it. Well, several of our Tyrian priests have already begun preparations. Their meditation will allow the different components to be combined smoothly. Desta, Fenthic, and I will all begin the main incantations as soon as we are prepared. If all goes well, we'll have the cure in mere moments. None too soon for Lord Nasher. The plague has weakened him considerably. I think he almost considers it a personal insult to be seen this way. Yes, farewell for now. There is much I must do to prepare for the casting to come. You should speak with the others. No doubt they will each have their own feelings about how our situation has changed. Well, you must be the one Erebeth has told me of. I must say that I appreciate what you have done. Neverwinter is going through a difficult time. It is good to know that we can count on people of quality to assist us. If you wish information about my trusted advisors, I suggest you ask them yourself. They have been instructed to be cooperative. I will allow it, though I would request that you make it brief. Thank you, but that will be handled by Erebeth, Fenthic, and Dester. The details of it need not concern you. Things will not be normal until we have captured and punished the culprits behind the plague. I have never seen my Neverwinter injured so. Then Gaul. Yes, I had reports of his activity in the docks. We used to clash during my adventuring youth, but things have changed. I would have sought him out, but not while I am weak. To face him now would taint the battles we've had before. I've new villainies to deal with. Farewell. Once again, I am grateful for your service to Neverwinter. There are very few who could have done what you did. You should speak with Desta and Fenthic before we begin. I'm sure they would like to congratulate you. Hello there! A grand day, isn't it? And you, you are to thank. It was your effort that allowed us to progress this far.
Well, hello. I imagine you are well pleased with yourself. This is your doing, after all. in this as well? I will have someone's head over this! You must bring Dester to justice. We must find him and demand his explanation. F I don't know what to say about this. If Dester has been against us all along, his villainy has affected all of us, every plague victim. We suspected the plague was artificial, that it was an attack of some sort, but I can't believe someone in our midst would actively prevent us from curing it. I can't imagine the motivation of this man. Obviously, he wants us to suffer, but the reason why escapes me. Dester is deserving of death, as are any accomplices, but I must know why this was done, why my Neverwinter was attacked. And we still need a cure. The ritual was not interrupted, so Dester must have the untainted result. It must be retrieved. Once I have the cure, once we all have the cure, then Dester will be judged, his plot and masters exposed, and punishment will be dealt. From first glance, they appear to be some of the Helmite brethren that were dispensing blessings around the city. I suppose if Dester was false, then they were as well. I will have my guards examine the Helmite temple and try to understand what these people were hoping to accomplish. I charge you with finding Dester himself. There is little time for questions now but I will answer as best I can. His actions seem foolish. He will be judged harshly if his reasons do not satisfy. I would give him the benefit of the doubt, but I lack the patience I once had. I have seen Neverwinter crippled with plague. I have seen attempts to poison. Now I see attacks that cause panic and confusion. It is too much. I've no trust left. If Fenthic aided in this attack, he will stand accused with Dester and meet swift justice. The people will demand it. Neverwinter is a fair city. A tragedy like this can change much. The citizens will demand justice. They will want the head of their enemy on a pike. 
they will not be kind to apparent collaborators. Whatever his true motives, Fenthic spoke on behalf of Desta many times, so he is already tainted by association. If his reasons do not absolutely satisfy, I do not foresee a happy end to this matter. Erebeth will know what is coming. I think we all do. I don't know his reasons for following Desta, but I have learned a few things about elves in my dealings with them over the years. It was explained to me that the human mind is jarring to an elf. They are much longer lived, and their changes are more gradual. They think long term. Fenthic and Erebeth are young elves. I cannot justify what Fenthic appears to have done, but perhaps he doesn't comprehend how quickly a man can change, or seem to. Desta was a friend yesterday and an enemy today. A lifetime for such a change would be drastic to an elf. I suppose a day is unthinkable. There is little time for questions now, but I will answer as best I can. Go quickly while Erebeth can still maintain the portal. Never winter. I must have an explanation. Hurry! Get through the portal while I can still maintain it. Find the cure. Get Dester and... and Fenthic too. He may be under a spell. I don't know. Can you imagine? I must wish Fenthic harm rather than face the possibility that... that he might have known of this. Do not say such things. It cannot be. He was mistaken. He was fooled. He was... he was... Damn him! People won't let this pass. They have been denied a cure, and they will want vengeance on the traitor and anyone that helped him. I won't be able to protect him. I won't. Perhaps... perhaps delivering Desta will mitigate things. Find him alive if you can. Find Benthic and get him to... I don't know. I don't know what will help now. I... I don't know. People will think he's in league with the greatest threat we have ever known. I don't know. He was mistaken. He was an advocate for a traitor. People will not understand his naivete, his trust. Could you blame them for finding a scapegoat? I'll... I'll maintain the portal as long as I can, but it may be a while before we can send guards through. You'll have to go on your own. I'll also try to make this sound better than it is. I can't hide Fenthic's blind trust of Desta, but if I explain it in context, maybe... I don't know. Perhaps Desta killed them. It seems impossible. He came from Helm's Hold. If that great hall has fallen, this is an even greater tragedy. This is a huge undertaking. It seems like Desta has done all this to promote the plague. But why? So many dead. Now the hold? I... I don't know. People will think he's in league with the greatest threat we have ever known. I don't know. He was mistaken. He was an advocate for a traitor. People will not understand his naivete, his trust. Could you blame them for finding a scapegoat? The city guards are needed elsewhere, so this task falls to you. Go before the portal falls! Jiminy, how many of you are in there? You must be friends of good man Desta.
Yes, you come seeking the traitor, the bringer of disease. You are a fierce beacon of life amidst his undead. The walking corpses are a new addition, though the good people of the Hold have been silent for some time. The false Helmites, they forced the good away, but now even they are not enough for Destin, and he creates a hasty army of dead. I am not here for your questions. I give this insight of my own accord. If that is inadequate, walk away. Esther fortifies here because his role is nearly played out. He is abandoned. He has no bridges left to burn. The dead are plentiful, so he surrounds himself with corpses. It won't be enough. His death is ordained and his life is forfeit. I am not here to aid. I am not here at all. I speak so you know that none of this can be escaped. Desta has served his purpose and now tries to defy his fate. Neverwinter will learn to accept such things, even as you are allowed to take him. Remember well this lesson.
both walk away from this.
Hi there. Okay, okay. Walk away from this. strange.
Ah, no can do. So straight. Okay, Dougie. Ah, oh, it's done. Well met. Well met. No can do. Well met. You will regret it.
Greetings. I am Dumal, Watch Knight of Helm. It is good to see a face of reason amidst the ravings. Hi there. Thank you. 
Here I am, the fool. My stay here with the dead has taught me more in a few hours than, than I deserve. He's a traitor, Dester. I helped him and then followed, hoping his deception was a mistake. I thought he would. He will return, won't he? We will both walk away from this. It's done.
no point in continuing this fight. You... you will want me alive anyway. I am undone. Take your bow, friend. You have your traitor. What now, I wonder? delay in returning me to Nasha and the precious Lady Erebeth. Her Dester's punishment was brutal, but his death brought little satisfaction. The horrors of the Wailing Death could not be undone with his execution. Those that had suffered now turned on each other. They looked for someone to blame, and found it in Dester's closest friend, Fenthic. The letter of the law found him negligent, and he was hanged as a sacrifice to appease the bloodthirsty mob. If any thought the sentence unjust, they remained silent. Duty required all to act as one, it was not the time for divided loyalties. The cult behind Dester's treachery still had to be found. The hunt led to the coastal town of Port Last. From here, the heroes of Neverwinter would continue the search for those behind the Wailing Death, and vengeance would be taken.